Hey, Foxy, I got your message. Uh, seems like you had a bad day, some door knockers. How you doing? What's going on? Oh, hi, Tiger. You, you wouldn't believe it. I was sitting down for a nice little quiet lunch and then knock, 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 knock. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the, don't you have the no trespassing sign? Yes, you know I do. I do, I do. Mm -hmm. So how can they do that? Isn't that illegal? Yes, it is. But, you know, if I don't stand by the gate or hire a private, private security officer, then who will stop that individual? Well, what are they trying to sell you? What's the problem here? The problem is, I don't care what they had to sell, Tiger. The problem is that they came on my property and this they interrupted my lunch. Even so, this is a sign, Tiger. Don't you agree with me? Well, I have to agree. If I don't agree, you're going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice but to agree with you. <laughs> oh, Tiger. All right. All right. Tell me, tell me about these salespeople. I mean, first, I don't understand what kind of people can go around knocking on doors. Is that even profitable? Do they make money? Because I can't imagine anybody lets them in the house. Well, I, I think, you know, those door knockers, they might be very, very lonesome and they want a little income. So therefore they figured, OK, I go daily for a long walk and I talk to a lot of people. Even so, I make very little money. And the people who open the door, Tiger, they are probably as lonely as, as a door knocker. I can't imagine that any door knocker can get into a house in today's day and age. I just cannot believe that's true. Well, I don't know how many old people live here in my neighborhood, but... I can't imagine if I would be 80 or 100 years old and I'm all by myself, Tiger. I have nobody who would eat lunch with me. And when one of those poor little schmucks gonna knock on the door, I gonna drag him into my little kitchen and say, sit down, honey, and here's something to eat for you. And we would yak and yak and laugh and you know, you know how it is, Tiger. I don't know. I, I hate them when they, I just slam the door in their face, but I don't know how can a person take a hundred door slams a day? How is that even possible? Oh, I would be discouraged after the first door slam. <laughs> no, I couldn't do that. I actually heard uh, that basically 90% quit on day one of door <laughs> knocking when they take the job and they take the job out of desperation. Uh, well, I, I agree with you. In, in reality, this is probably exactly as it is, Tiger. See, they are so desperate. And who knows? You, you, I, I kind of wonder if it's a 40-hour job or is it a part-time job or is it on commissions only? What do you think? I think it's a commission only because anybody who owns this kind of company who's willing to exploit people like that is probably a very brutal, self-centered prick you know who just sends people knowing that they're going to lose money knowing that they're going to end up uh losing their house or car or whatever because 99 percent not going to be able to do it so they just send a hundred of these people who are desperate and then they get a couple of sales the fact that everybody else is making less than a minimum wage they don't care so i find these people very very wicked and very very evil we're talking about the employers, right? The Tiger? employer. Yeah. The, 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 the job seekers are just ignorant of the fact that they're not going to make money. I guarantee you less than 3% are making above minimum wage. Less yeah. than 3%. 97% are just being taken advantage of. They're going out there knocking yeah. and they get screwed. And the person sending them knows that's why they lie and do these rah, rah, rah. You're going to make millions. You're going to get a Lamborghini. They just lie, lie, lie to extort as much time out of these poor, pe desperate people. So if they can get a week or two times hundreds of people, he heads his yacht and beachfront property paid off the owner. Just, just schmucks, very wicked, evil people. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know the employers, but I agree with you regarding the door knockers. And I also can imagine this they are being misled. They probably being hired part time 
on commissions or maybe just setting appointments and then you know for each appointment they said they get x amount of dollars and then in every appointment where the salesperson maybe they get another one or two percent and so i believe the employer would say nope the guy wasn't there for the appointment nope well that's the other thing once you set once you make a sale, say he's selling solar panels, he's going around selling solar panels. Then the next thing that this wicked, evil prick does is he steals it. He goes, he fine prints the person. The devil fine prints is what I call it. They go into all the contract they sign and they find a reason not to pay him the commission. So that all of uh, the majority do that because they, they, there's a lot of money in stealing from the few sales they make. So they always try to rip them off on that. Wow, this, this is very hurtful to listen to this. I did not know this. The world is so very cruel, Tiger. I'm shocked. Well, what kind of planet do you think we live in? <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the least of the cruelness. It, I'm just telling you, it's, it's horrific. Because when you're down on your luck, and you go for these jobs, they all take advantage of you. That's all that is, is taking advantage of poor people. All right, but listen, um, I hope you feel better now that you got it all out. Did you, um, you feel better now? Yes, thank you for listening, Tiger. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. Good, I'm happy to be your therapist. Call anytime. Now bounce. Bounce, bounce, Tiger. See ya. See ya.